Welcome to Positive Productivity, Episode 147. Welcome to Positive Productivity Podcast, where we empower our audience to achieve and appreciate personal and professional success, especially in the face of adversity. Listen in as our guests reveal their stories of challenges and hurdles and how they overcame defeat and became triumphant in their endeavors. Let's get motivated and move forward with your host, Kim Sutton. It might be surprising for you to know. However, for the first 30 years of my life, I walked around 75% of the time with a dark cloud over my head. It wasn't until a fateful day when I met a dear friend, my chiropractor, that I was introduced to the law of attraction and I realized I have and had the right to make myself happy and the right to be happy. I don't know why this hadn't occurred to me before, but when I finally realized that, it was as though all clouds parted and the sunshine shone down from above. Moving forward since then, I've realized time and time again that life really is all about perspective. No matter what happens in our day, we can choose to look at the situation in one of two ways. We can look at the situation to see how we are blessed, or we can look at the situation and think that we are cursed. In today's episode, I want to encourage you to do the first. I want to encourage you to look at every situation as though you are blessed because you are and see the good in that situation. Despite turning on my alarm clock last night, this morning we overslept. I have no idea why my phone did not go off, or maybe it did and I just turned it off and went back to sleep. I honestly do not remember. However, I overslept two hours past when I wanted to get up this morning. Dave and I woke up to the sound of, Mama! I pooped, coming from Zelda, one of our two-year-old twins. And opening our eyes and seeing the sunshine, we realized we were a little bit later than we meant to be. Rather than looking at the day already as though I had lost two hours, I am reminding myself that I needed that sleep and how much more rested I feel now. Rather than be grumpy with the kids and feel rushed and hectic, we got the kids ready for school as quickly as we could and quite honestly, got them out the door much faster than we would have otherwise. Our ability to control our attitude and look at the day in a blessed way allowed us to probably do the fastest get kids ready for school prep session that we've ever done before. I live in the middle of cornfields in Ohio, so I do not face traffic jams on any type of regular basis. I probably only face serious traffic once a year, and that's when I'm traveling with my son Robert to a soccer game. However, every time we get stuck in traffic, I notice around me there are people getting angry, they're cursing at other people, they're giving them the bird. And every time this happens, all I can do is sit back and smile. Just like me, these other drivers have a choice as to how they are going to approach the day and the drive ahead of them. It's their choice to get angry at the drive and the other drivers. However, I choose otherwise and I encourage you to do the same with me. If you're sitting in traffic right now, I encourage you to sit back and enjoy the ride. Go through your I am statements. And if you haven't heard me talking about these before, these are statements such as, I am amazing. I am blessed. I am confident. I have an I am statement for every letter of the alphabet. And I encourage you to make a list of I am statements from A to Z for you as well. While I would love for you to be listening to the Positive Productivity Podcast in the car, if you're not and you find yourself in a traffic jam, 
turn on your favorite tunes, sing along and put on a happy face. Just remember that everywhere you're going, you get to go. You don't have to go. You may be on your way to a job that you really don't like, but you get to go there because you are blessed to have a job. There are people who would love to have that job and who are struggling. Take today's challenges and turn them around into the best light. I'm going to give one final example before I let you go on your way. You've heard me talking about how I've had to rebuild all of my websites because they were hacked. And I would be lying if I said that there haven't been a couple, and I mean only a couple, occasions when I got really upset about it. But in the past two weeks since my websites were hacked, I've realized I'm actually lucky because now I have the opportunity to rebuild my sites in the best way possible. I'm doing research as to all the elements that I should have had, and I'm making sure to fit them into the design. My personal website is already flowing better, and I'm realizing all the opportunities that I have to make my business website better when I get to it. It's all about perspective. Life is all about perspective. So how are you going to look at it today? With that said, go forth and have a positive and productive day. Hey there, this is Kim Sutton, host of the Positive Productivity Podcast. And I just want to take a quick moment to thank you for listening to this episode. If you enjoyed it and were inspired, I would love to hear your feedback. Please take a moment or two and visit the podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, or on my website at thekimsutton.com to leave your rating or review. I'd also like to invite you to join the Positive Productivity Book Club and to find out more about my coaching packages by visiting thekimsutton.com. Until the next episode, I hope you have a positive and productive day.